we're making progress. Good morning guys, so it's our final day here in the Isle of Lewis, it's been amazing and it's windy and rainy outside but I'm going to go do some hit training. I told myself I'd do some hill sprints so I'm just going to go and then we're going to do some travelling and some exploring later on so I'll take the camera out maybe for one sprint and then I'm going to hide it back in here because it's really windy. It might even get blown away so we'll see what happens but trust me I'm getting it done. I've done a bit of running outside, my hamstring feels a bit tight so I stopped. But I thought I'd just quickly chat because it's quite hard to talk outside. I'm sure I've mentioned it but it's been pretty windy here so talking outside is, yeah, it just doesn't really work to be honest with you, it's, it's too windy to hear anything. I did buy a muffler to stick on my camera but when I put it on I don't know if any of the audio quality worked at all, I think it made it even worse. So yeah, I do apologise for the lack of audio, but I can speak to you guys now, can't I? So yeah, with the four full days I've been here, day one was a run, day two was a long run, day three was some weight training while I was cooking, and day four was some hill sprints, and I might do some abs and weights later as well. So it's been pretty easy stuff, nothing like too crazy, although the 5k runs, well 5k and a bit longer, they were pretty challenging because the, the wind and the rain, sideways rain and stuff was... Interesting to say the least, but I'm glad I've done some some sort of training because well We've got four weeks now till the Glacier Games CrossFit competition my first ever CrossFit competition And I just want to make sure I'm feeling pretty fresh because obviously I do go to Thailand in 10 days in 10 days I go to Thailand in 10 days. Jesus. That's gone fast So I want to make sure I'm in good shape for that make sure I keep training there as well and then come back ready to smash that, that Glacier Games competition, which I can't wait for. Really weird, I'm actually really excited to get home as well. It's been nice here, really nice here. I could stay here for longer, but it's refreshed me. I feel like I'm ready to go back and work and stuff, because it's been so chilled. It's been so nice and chilled here, and I want to just get back to it, really. And for me, as well, being up here has been... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've been doing the jigsaw now for, well, every day, and... We're slowly, slowly getting there, but it's pretty tricky, look, so. That's what we've got so far, and in the middle, all we've got to do is like a big black, it's a blackboard, it's an actual blackboard on a puzzle, so that's gonna take a while, because it's just black pieces. Coming here has been really, really good for me because there's no phone signal and there's no Wi-Fi. I've bought a little, little wireless router thing, so I've been using this from EE, and it gives me Wi-Fi basically, but I've been trying not to use it because I want to sort of shut off from the world a little bit. So what I've been doing is going out, having fun, traveling, like being with the world, the actual real world, rather than staying on my phone the whole time. I think I'm spending maybe half an hour on Instagram daily now compared to up to three hours a day when I'm at home doing work on it and stuff like that. So it's been nice to have a little break from that really. And once again, I didn't even bring my laptop, so I've not been doing any work of that sort either. It's been it's been so chilled, and I do feel you know I do feel good for it. I do feel a little bit detoxed because although I don't think I get caught up in that sort of social media world, I do feel like it's nice to take a break from it. And I recently put on an Instagram story. I had a little rant saying like I don't need Instagram to have a good time. Like it's not my real life. I've got a real life, and this has sort of you know confirmed that for me. It's I've got a real life. Life is amazing. Like there's so much fun to have. I'm literally, as I'm talking to you guys, I'll have to show you the view because it's insane. Like, look at this. Like, that's my view. Like, the world is incredible. You know, social media is just a tiny bit of everything. For me, it does give me good opportunities to meet people, real life opportunities, which I'm thankful for. But I don't live inside social media, and there's more to life than social media. So. It's been nice to have some real fun, spend some good time up here, relax, see some beautiful sights. Oh yeah, another fortnight top, look at that. We're gonna get going now and I'm gonna take as many photos and videos and stuff as I can for you guys. It's been amazing to come here and just detox, get away from everything. It's so remote, there's only, outside of the capital, so Stornoway is the capital, outside of that capital, there's only 6,000 people on the island. It's pretty, pretty separated, but it's so pretty here. Like the colors are insane. I don't think my photos or the camera will do it justice, but it's beautiful here. Highly recommend coming if you haven't come before. 
drop a comment down below. Say, would you come somewhere like this for a holiday or would you rather go somewhere hot? Because let's be honest, here is windy, rainy. It's the elements, but it's beautiful. It's like raw, raw nature. You sort of feel like you're in the Lord of the Rings or something like that, which is pretty sick. Anyway, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I've chatted so long. but we've come back again today because it was too windy yesterday to film, too wet and too horrible but we're back here at the Standing Stones in Kalanesh. Wow. So we tried to come <laughs> we tried to come up here and film again but it's gonna rain again in a second. In fact it's raining right now. So I'll have to talk to you about it in the video when I'm at home. But this place is so gorgeous. Anyway we're gonna be running back to the car right about now I think. Yeah, I could shoot for the stars, but the longer I fall, maybe I'll get my wings if I stay up till dawn and I wish that everything would stop. I will get you the moon if it got you to talk. So pretty. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. okay, I'll move. <laughs> oh, it looks good today. It looks so good on the camera as well. I just want to keep filming it. We've headed into the capital. We're in Stornoway now. So we found a nice little restaurant and we're having some food. It was really good. Come to Papa. And also come to Papa. Nobody comes close to you Tell me what I gotta do different I don't know how to get to you Knowing me, I'll probably mess it up Knowing me, I'll probably mess it up again so We've come all the way up here, all the way to the middle of nowhere and we've met someone and where were you born? Princess Royal Hospital, Huddersfield Uddersfield. Uddersfield. So there you go, Yorkshire's <laughs> everywhere, we're taking over the globe <laughs> Me and Emma have literally not spoken to anybody in five days. The first person that we speak to when we come to the main city is from Yorkshire and born in Huddersfield. Like, what are the chances? All the way up here as well. And that's it, we're going home now. So, it's our last night. We're gonna try and finish the jigsaw and pack and then we've got a lovely drive home tomorrow. So, it's been a fantastic little break. Our view from the cottage, absolutely incredible. And yeah, this is the first time I've actually been able to speak to the camera outside without the wind being absolutely horrendous. There's 18,000 people in the Isle of Lewis and it's a pretty big place. And 12,000 of them are in or around Stornoway, which is the main city. So that means the rest of the island only has 6,000 people. 6,000 people along the rest of the island. I might just sit here for a little bit and look at the view. God, it's incredible up here. And that is weight session number two done for the holiday. I just did some Tabata stuff, so I've used my dumbbell to do Tabata, shoulder, uh, tabata chest press, single arm on the floor, Tabata rows, Tabata shoulder press, Tabata squats with it, and Tabata split squats, which was good, and then I just did some core. Nothing too crazy, as you can see, I'm not sweating. I'm a little bit out of breath and my arms feel like pumped, but but yeah, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> that was good fun, just something steady to keep me going and ticking over because obviously we've got a 12 hour drive tomorrow and I'm not very good at sitting still, so at least this way I'll feel like I've accomplished something. There's no wind, listen. There's nothing. But yeah, I did a little bit of maths earlier and the population per square mile in Manchester is 12,000 people and then the population here per square mile outside of the capital so everywhere else is five. <laughs> five people compared to 12,000 in Manchester obviously if you include the capital I think the population w goes up to 15 people per square mile 
so still that's pretty pretty good. Reach you I'm too small. Oh. This is quiet and empty. Look at that. How beautiful. I just can't get over that view. Insane. So the idea is to drive home as fast as we can without stopping too much. Let's see how well I manage because to be honest, I don't have much hope because it's You know me, I literally love waterfalls and that one just looks really, really cool. It's like a stream with fast rapids at the top. Oh, it does look good there. Look at that. 